What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. It's been kind of thrown around a little bit, and I figured out uh, a dish on it, yeah, you know, just for a, a hot second. But with Patrick Roy, no longer the coach in, in Colorado, and uh, Michelle Terrion's um, seat being, you know, rather rather hot in uh, in Montreal, could a reunion happen between? Could another reunion happen? Because Roy obviously had a reunion in Colorado. Could he go back to coaching in Montreal? I want to see it. You know, he said he'd never play for the team again. Never said anything about coaching. Obviously, if and when they fire Terry on, it's going to be Kirk Muller's team. So, Terry on's definition of sitting duck, which given how much of a fucking unlikable douchebag he is. You know. But the Rawa montreal reunion is just too... Ju I don't think it's going to happen. Because if they sent P.K. Subban away for having too much personality, can you imagine Rawa? And I mean, you know, I know he played in that market. Obviously, won two Stanley Cups there. Him and Ken Dryden are the two greatest goalies in the history of the franchise. Depending upon the old timers, going to say Dryden. People like me that you know have brains are going to say you know Rua. But either way, um, the entertainment value would be perfect. And the other thing was he's one of those guys who just doesn't give a fuck what comes out of his mouth. He really doesn't. So with that media being you know, and again he played in it. He's familiar with it. But given social media and the 24-hour news cycle that has really taken off in the last, you know, decade or so, you know, remember, he got traded over 20 years ago. So, yes, the basic overall fishbowl market that is Montreal is timeless and remains the same, you know, two decades later. But, if anything, it's more intense, and, you know, we'll see how that, uh, that again, I don't see it happening. It's one of those positions I, I just want to throw out there and be like, I want to see it. And again, Radulov, Radulov. People don't like the way I pronounce it, but I'm going to say Radulov because it just sounds cooler that way. Uh, he coached Raddy up and uh, up with the Ramparts. So little coach player reunion too going on if uh, Patty were to assume the throne in Montreal. So again, just something I'm throwing out there. It's not going to happen. Just hot takes for days. But who else wants to see that? I'm sure fans of Montreal don't, but hey, someone someone got to get some uh, take some heat off the Bruins for being the most dysfunctional franchise in the Atlantic Division. Although, given the fact Ottawa's in the division as well, Ottawa might have taken that that title. But you know, I just want to throw this out there. So when Raw had a hissy fit and got sent away from uh, the the Habs in the first place, you know, I will never play for this this team again. All that. How awesome would that have been if social media existed? you imagine live tweeting that game? Someone sitting right behind the bench over here and that, sending that out. You know, the memes, you know, people would have crying Jordan. Uh, was it Mario Tremble? He was coaching the Habs at the time, so you know, he would have been crying Jordan. Or probably would have been crying Jordan. Harambe would have worked his way in there. Would have been awesome. So, just a little aside, but we'll see uh, We'll see what happens. Again, I, I don't think Rawa's done coaching, and, you know, we'll see what direction Colorado goes in in terms of its replacement. I'll talk about that at a later date, but... Something to think about. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of The Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.